Hi, my name is Pat Basler. I am the Library Director of the Stoughton Public Library and today is Thursday, May 24th, 2018 and we are very excited to do our first walkthrough of the new library during its construction. Today we have a gathering of people that consists of some members of the Library Building Committee and some of our library trustees. Um, we have the interim town manager and other people on the committee that have helped us put this project together, as well as some of the um, members of the contracting team that, is, that are building this project. Next to me is Tom Gatsunas. He is our owner's project manager, and he will give you a little background on where we are so far. Thanks, Pat. So we're about 50% uh, through construction. Um, the exterior skin of the building is starting to go on. If you drive by, you'll see that there's glass up, the metal panels are going in. Uh, most of the mechanical systems, all the rough work is about completed. Um, we're gonna have inspections performed next week by the local building, uh, electrical and plumbing inspector, and fire department will come through and do their rough inspections, and then we'll start putting the drywall up on the walls. So it's an exciting time. Uh, things just re will really start to shape up and people will really get the feel for the size of the rooms and spaces right now as you see as you will see when we do the walkthrough it's all metal studs um, all rough framing um, it's pretty much completed so you get an idea of the room layouts but the wall board hasn't gone up yet so you really don't get that sense of exactly how large or small the spaces are going to be but for the most part they're all very large very spacious and it's going to be a, a great library for the town of Stoughton. So this is the, the, the second floor level. As you can see, you either can go down the stairs or you walk around the stairs and go up to the 2.1 level. The large meeting room will be right here, um, right off that back entrance. Elevator comes to every floor. Even so the 2.1? Yes, it does. Oh, nice. So you'll come in at this level, and we can, we can go right to the elevator now so you can see where it will go. So you could... You could, no, but we, elevator's not here. There's yeah. just an empty shaft. But you would come in at this level or come in at the lower level, and then the elevator access would be just next to where that uh, stepladder is. Uh -huh. And that will take you up a half a flight to get you up to that level. Uh -huh. So you only use a two elevator to go here? It's one elevator, okay. and you, either, you come in and can either go up a half a flight or down to the lower level. And then from the lower level, you come in the front door, and we, we'll go down there next, <clears throat> over to the elevator and either come up to this level or to the 2.1 level. And, then, and it's the same elevator if they go One there. elevator, yes. It opens yes. on both sides. Open front and back. Right. Yeah. Wheelchair accessible. Absolutely, right. yes. Yeah. 
Yes. The wall board's not in yet, but it really, this just is sort of the back of the house stuff. So the staff room is here, the custodian's office, storage, a work room. And on this side, we have a temperature controlled uh, historical room that will have um, things that are important for the town to preserve long term. And then we'll go upstairs, my, uh, up on the next level. So this won't have a lot of public staff space. It'll be, this will be where the art gallery is. There'll be some cafe tables here if people want to meet and visit. There'll be a couple more at the back of the stairs if people want to stop and meet after an event or something. Um, but when they first come in, this is the draw. They'll go up to this um, 2.1, we're calling it. So this space over here, these are offices, and this space over here is an additional conference room that will hold over here, up to 50, that's the smaller conference room. It'll hold up to 50 people. It can be a training room for outside programs or departments. Um, it'll have a flat, a 70 inch flat screen TV. We can watch movies in there. It's a multi-purpose use room. Then as you walk further in, um, around this open space, there'll be uh, tables and chairs. Everything is Wi-Fi connected. There'll be lots of desks and furniture, comfortable chairs all along the front of the windows. Tom, do you want to talk a little bit about the front space? Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> stinker. Come this way. We'll get to those. So this is just a big open space where the community can come and do their studying, their work, use the computers, bring your own laptop. It will all be accessible. On the far side is three quiet study rooms. Um, and behind those is the adult literacy offices and then a fourth study room that will hold four people instead of two. The other ones are really just for a tutor and a student or people that need to have a, a private conversation. So those will be built in over there and then this will be all the things that used to be in the um, reading space, the, the Francis Daly reading room, the magazines, the paper books, those paperbacks, those kinds of things will all be all along this area here. So it'll, nice, it'll be a nice, big, open, bright space conducive to doing whatever you need to do. So from this view, you can see how we've mirrored, and the architect really did a nice job of mirroring that effect of the open trusses and the light monitor and bringing that in and raising it at this level and really bringing, and when we go downstairs, you'll see how much light enters in. So what's up there will stay? Yes, these are, those are going to be open windows. They'll be painted white. Um, they'll be the, the, the ceiling finish will cover that metal look, but it will match what you see and what you used to see on the, the original light monitor of the building. It was, it was mirrored to bring it forward and bring that same natural light in and flood the space below with natural light. Wonderful. And this whole area is carpeted. The main entrance downstairs is, what's that, it's like a, a granite? It's a uh, ceramic tile, uh, porcelain tile. Porcelain tile. Yeah. So the whole design is big open spaces, nice and clean and bright. So Thoughts? This is the AC system? Yeah. Correct. And, and it'll, will it be quiet? It'll be very quiet. It's a yes. lot of light. They are yes. going to put, um, well, you can There are sunshades that yeah. um, go on the exterior of the building that will help to diffuse and, and cut off a lot of the glare that comes in. And then there's obviously um, additional regular shades that you have, you know, like in your home, so we can really cut down on the lighting if it's too much. It, yeah. But These the that are frosty, mm -hmm. that's just temporary? Or they nope, be that was, that's part of the design. Oh, no. Right, oh, yeah. right, yeah. right. And you right. Can all nice opportunity for shades. Yes, yes. And yes. all the rest of the light is coming in. So right, really right. But there is a tint, that, like it's the highest quality energy efficient glass. Right. It's really it supposed. Feel really hot, no. Even though it's, open it's hot outside, right. yeah. No, yeah. It, it is high efficiency glass Some that cuts of the down. Are open? Yes. The yes. Bottoms, yep. The yep. Yeah, because I saw it from yes. the outside. On, but yeah. That's so cute. Yes. It's just for that transitional season where you don't want to put your mm -hmm. AC on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We have the Oh, we had to open up the doors and then flies right. were, yeah, these right. will have, everything will have screens, right. it'll give us a little local control. The, the, the shades that are on the windows will run vertically, um, they'll be in a pocket up above, but then there are also 
They're called sunshades on the exterior of the building that cut the, the, that solar gain and the solar glare out, but still allows light to come into the building. The outside ones are fixed. They're like, they're not, they're not like pull shades. They're like horizontal panels. Right. It's, it, it's a, yeah, it's a horizontal louver. Yes, it's a it. louver that, that extends out from the front of the building to cut that sun. Th they're fixed. Those louvers are fixed. They did a solar study to right. determine we get the worst sun in the afternoon. And so these will be fixed at a certain angle to cut the afternoon blinding sun down. And the first floor will be protected because this floor sticks out 16 feet. So between those two things, we will have some control over that. Oh, here. The, the inside ones are, are completely um, now it's going to maneuverable. Be solar controlled or it's going to be no, they're manually controlled. Okay. They're electric, but they're manually controlled. They're not automatic. So uh, an additional stair was provided at this end of the building that takes you right down from this uppermost level all the way down to the first floor level. Uh, so you don't have to go back through the building or use the elevator. You can walk right down. So this, this is where the uh, first floor elevator entrance will be. So as you came in, come in from the front door, the elevator is available right at the front entrance and can take you up to any of those levels. This, this is a glassed-in um, teen room. Um, with, right, so it will, the teens will have their own space, but they won't have all that much privacy, which you know might be unfair, but that's just how it is. Um, but they will have a flat screen TV, they will have gaming things to do in here. Um, all the latest technology, we have like a maker space so that um, they can create things. Uh, we hope at some point to get a um, 3D printer. So this will be dedicated space for the teens. That when you come in the other part, when you come in the main entrance, on the right hand side is a workroom. In that walled in, in this walled in area here, is when this is the front entrance, and the first thing you'll come across is this workroom, and then from here on will be the circulation desk. From here on will be the circulation desk where the staff will be to greet you, take your books, um, do all the things that they normally do, and then that far corner is from there all the way to the back is the children's area. So the way that's laid out is the front corner is going to be for um, preschool. So Peggy Sewick can give her story time there for the preschool kids. So they'll, they'll have a quiet little space to play. Parents can sit there and read to their kids, do whatever they would like. And then the whole rest, then the next space that's um, blocked in is the children's librarian's office, which is over here. So this entire half of the first floor is all dedicated to children's space. And all the books and everything that goes on with the children's activities is here. And then this back room, which is really a big space that we've never had a dedicated, glassed-in, quiet space for children. Um, we can do our crafts in there, we can do story times, they can make as much noise as they want and it won't interrupt other people doing their work. So we're very excited to have that. That's the, furthest the, the furthest back, yeah. It, it's hard to tell how big it is, but it's a really, it's a, it's a perfect space. You see that we, we mirrored and carried through from the front door, the grand entry stair that was there in the previous design. So that's been preserved. The, uh, yeah, yep. Yep. It, it won't look the same. They're taking the wood rail off and replacing it with glass, and it, it'll be a lot more open, and, but it's the same. But it's wide enough for up and down. Right. Yeah, sure. Right. It's, a great, right. it's the same location, and it's very sturdy. Right. And that light monitor that was up above continues to flood the space with light. Right. In that area, the, the light monitor in the front, I mean, you see how much light, and even though the front doors aren't in yet, it's really not going to block that much light because it will be all glass and all of the other glass in the front is there and the light coming down from above. Sorry, I just wanted to know what kind of lighting 
is being planned for the areas. I mean, are you able to control it so that where there's very bright, you don't need as much? Yes, area? yes. It's controlled by um, light sensors as well as occupancy sensors. So even if people you know, leave the space and leave the light on, the lights will turn off. Oh, wonderful. But they won't be so sensitive that when you're sitting, studying, working, um, they won't shut off. It does detect even the slightest bit of movement. Just moving an arm will be enough to keep the light sensor from shutting the lights off on you. Now that room that's in the back, mm -hmm. There's an open area, is it a railing or is it just wall? That's going to be glass. Glass above and yes. below? Yes, and below will be wall, uh -huh. but the glass will all be across. Um, so it, it's soundproof, but still extremely visible right. for right, the children important. that are in there. Right. So the elevator is there, and everything from the right elevator wall back is all the adult stacks. So all the, those will be, that'll be the most densely... Uh, book, pop book, book yeah, section. <laughs> the book area. Most of the rest of the building has stacks that are only um, 36 or 48 inches high. So you, when you come in from either floor, you'll be able to see everywhere. But that one section has higher so stacks. So that has the tall stacks. Has the tall stacks. And yeah. the other areas have the low, That's the right. smaller stacks. Just like in the old building, where a parent could come in the front door and just scan the place and see where their kid is, or see which section of the library they want to go to. It's all very. Um, user friendly. So this is a big improvement. We have a book drop outside in the front and, the outside. and now that town meeting approved expanding the parking lot, we've doubled our parking on the lower level. So we'll have up to 65 parking spaces all together with the front and rear lot. So when you come in from the front lot, you'll have the 16 foot deep and 120 foot wide patio or porch. And right before you come to the front door, there'll be a book drop. So you can drop your books off as you come in the building, or when we're closed, just drop them off there. If you're driving into the back lot, there'll be a book drop right by the back door on the second level rear. So that'll be much more convenient. And both entrances, the front entrance and the back entrance, will be directly accessible uh, for somebody in a wheelchair. Fratkin and I'm chairing the capital campaign along with a bunch of other people who are working really hard and we are very fortunate because people have been coming forward. A lot of these rooms that we discussed have been already named. Some are still waiting. Um, if you want to name the great big conference room, we still have that open. But what we're going to be doing for families and people that aren't in the you know, $25,000, $30,000 range. We're going to be putting up on this wall here an installation done by a Stoughton company um, that's going to be called the Tree of Knowledge, and it will have leaves on the tree. We're not sure exactly of the design. We're working on that. But people will be able to buy those leaves at a fair nominal price so everybody can be part of this. We're hoping to do 200 minimum leaves on the tree. So we're really excited about that. But again, the book stacks can all be named, the tall ones, the short ones. Um, it, we, we're contemplating naming windows. Um, and anything else you see, probably the bathroom. Does anybody want to name the bathroom? No, all right, no, not the bathroom. But it's going to be really exciting and a lot of fun. And we are very excited because we have some wonderful people um, I was looking for Jen, but I don't see her. You know, people that have come forward to donate for certain spaces in here, please contact me if you're interested. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on this tour. I do want to give a special thanks to M. O'Connor, who is the contractor for this, this uh, project, and Feingold Alexander, our architects who have designed this beautiful building, and Daedalus Projects, who have provided great owner's project management to make sure that the town gets what we are uh, planning on getting. Thank you, Pat. Uh, we anticipate the building will be completed in mid-October, um, so we look forward to that grand opening at that time. I think it'll be very exciting for everybody. The parking lot will be done thanks to town meeting vote and getting those additional funds, so we'll be able to expand that parking lot as well, and um, it's really going to be a great facility for the town. And again, come visit us in the meantime at 529 Washington Street. That's where the temporary Stoughton Public Library is. And we can't wait to all get back in our new building. Bye.